Hello everyone, welcome to Urbanscape Bangalore and in this episode, the plant of interest will be the cryptanthus or commonly called the earth star. The crypto means hidden and the anthus means flower since this plant has hidden and very nondescript blooms that arise at the center. This belongs to the Bromeliaceae family to which the broad spectrum bromeliads, Spanish moss, pineapple, etc. belong. This is a native of Brazil and is found in the rainforests growing in the leaf debris at ground level. This, unlike your other ornamental bromeliads, is a terrestrial plant and does not grow on trees. The cryptanthus has many species and I guess this one is the red star that has a dark streak in between with dominant crimson red coloration on its leaves. The undersides have a shade of white in them. They have these spiny leaves but are not as savage as the pineapples. The plant reaches a height of just 5 to 8 inches and when grown in ground, they look like the starfish. This plant will die after it finishes blooming but before that it will give out babies which you can use to propagate new plants. The plant is not toxic to pets or humans. The roots are shallow. So in this episode, we will look at the basic care tips and finally, we will be reporting this one. Sunlight. This is a shade-loving plant, but the more sunlight exposure you give this, the brighter will be the red coloration. Less sunlight can make the leaves revert to green. So I am growing this in a terrace setup with a northeast sunlight exposure. When grown indoors, you can give this a south or a west exposure. This can take full sun, but the leaves will get scorched and can bleach. Watering Unlike the other bromeliads that like their cups to be watered, with this one, you need to water the soil. Since this plant grows naturally in the rainforest, you can imagine how consistently wet the soil must be. So, one or two days of dryness is okay, but extended periods of dryness can impact its growth and well-being. But at the same time, it must not be kept in soggy, wet soil, especially during winters. So, when you touch the soil, it must feel wet, not water-laden. Humidity Again, with a rainforest setup, you can imagine high humidity conditions. So, mist their leaves during dry summers once a week. Additionally, if you have a very bright bathroom, you can place it there as well. Due to its love for humidity, this can be an excellent terrarium plant. Fertilizing You can fertilize this with compost every month during summer when grown outdoors. And when grown indoors, you can use seaweed solution with 3 or 4 drops of it in a litre of water as the ideal mix. Container type. So dimension wise, you can use a shallow container but a wide one since this grows in clumps. A terracotta container will be ideal. Pruning. You can remove the old and drying leaves like this by just twisting it and it comes off very easily. Pests and diseases. In my experience, I feel this is fairly pest resistant and most bromeliads are. But yes, Fungal diseases may occur if you let the plant sit in very wet soil. As always, neem oil pesticide is your best bet. Propagation You can propagate this plant by pup division. I don't have one as of now, so I can't show you, but it is understood. Air circulation This loves air circulating through its leaves and more the air circulation, lesser the chance of pest attacks. So by pruning, you are also allowing this plant some breathing space. Cold tolerance Since this is a tropical plant, it will not tolerate freezing temperatures and you can take it indoors and overwinter it in a warm, cozy, bright room. And finally, let's look at repotting and also talk about an important topic that is potting mix. So I have decided to go with this beautifully painted terracotta pot which is not too big but just right for this plant as of now. For the potting mix, I'm using 40% compost, 30% sand and 30% cocoa peat or garden soil to retain some moisture. Additionally, you can add some small pebbles or gravel like this to replicate the gritty 
forest floors. Mix this well. Add the potting mix up to a certain level, ensuring the plant is not planted too deep into the container. It must be placed in such a way that the leaves must dangle out of the pot. Backfill and then water the plant. This plant loves organically rich soil because in the rainforest, it grows in all the leaf litter under tree canopies. So ensure you add little more compost than usual. So folks, grow it indoors or out. The Earth Star will definitely shine bright with its radiant color. And with this, we've come to the end of yet another episode of Urbanscape Bangalore and I really hope you've enjoyed this particular Cryptanthus program. Additionally, you can follow me on Instagram and Facebook. The links are given below. And remember, to grow slow is to grow well. Thank you for watching Urbanscape Bangalore and until we meet again, a very warm goodbye.